Hey guys, welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon. Today I will be showing you just a few more Easter DIYs. These are so super easy and fun to do and they look so cute and high-end and I'm absolutely loving them, especially this a topiary. So we're gonna jump right in as to how I made these with Dollar Tree items. So I picked up this bag in the $3 aisle. I like the way they look. They looked a little bit more high-end than just a regular bag of eggs. They have this pretty pastel colors with speckles on them and I just removed those beads which I can actually use on another DIY project. I always keep all of the items I don't use and I'm just going Going to be just removing these so I can just have the eggs and once I got all my eggs together I'm gonna go ahead and cut those in half and this is how I will be forming and making my Dollar Tree Easter topiary and guys it's going to look so high end when I'm done next I'm gonna go ahead and get my base I have this little terracotta pot and I actually got these when they were two for a dollar back in the day guys kept a lot of them painted it white and went back and just add a little bit more color just to give it a little bit more um, texture and just to make it look a little patinaed and aged now I picked up this foam cone and I'm just gonna add this hot glue to the edge of my planter and I'm gonna add the cone onto it and I'm taking all of my my eggs that I've previously cut in half and I'm just gonna be gluing those on there's no rhyme reason or pattern just gave enough room in between them so that way I can go back and add in some of that Dollar Tree floral moss and I'm gonna be going with the more earthy tone because I really want to give this a high-end look and make it look like it came from a, a craft store instead of me making it with the Dollar Tree greenery and um, yeah I just love the way it looks I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of separate separate that that little um, moss out and then I'm going to add it on with some hot glue directly to the actual foam cone now guys I will say you want to sort of thin it out before you start applying it and you just want to go in between the little eggs I love these eggs because they have this sort of pastel color they're not too bright and they're not too saturated with pigment which just makes it looks a, a little bit more um, high-end like, like I said and as you can see I'm just pulling this moss over I'm gonna go back and trim it and I absolutely love the way it's looking but I figured I would just add a little bow I didn't want to add anything with too much color like I said I'm trying to go for a more of a high-end look so all I did was take a little bit of jute and I made the cutest little bow and guys I think that this turned out so perfect it looks like something I would purchase at a Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's or something and guys this was all done for five dollars you cannot beat that. Oh, actually, less than $5. I love it. I think it looks amazing. So for my next one, I picked up a couple of these eggs. Um, there was the larger one and then the smaller one. And I am going to be cutting one of these each sizes in half. And we're going to be decoupaging that half. But I'm going to be just painting out everything with a white coat just to make sure I have a good base. And for my eggs that are still just a full egg, I'm going to paint those on both sides in pink and let those dry down and now I'm going to go back to those halves and decoupage them on each side and in the other one I'm going to be using stickers so for the first one as you can see I have them painted out on both sides I am going to go in with this one and just add some Mod Podge but before I do I want to trace out because this one is not the stickers it's just regular craft paper I want to trace out the shape of these egg halves once I have that done, I will go ahead and get these cut out and then I can go ahead and just add my decoupage. You can even use one of those glue sticks if you have that on hand. They'll work perfect for this. And you can get craft paper anywhere. And that's basically all I'm going to be doing. As you can see, I'm adding on my glue now, on my Mod Podge. Just going to be adding on the actual shape that I've already cut out with the craft paper and I'm just going to smooth it down on both sides and that's all there is to this. So simple, quick and easy and it's so much fun. Now I'm going to go to the other two pieces that are the egg halves and this I picked up, I'm not sure if it was from the Hobby Lobby on sale if I got it from the Dollar Tree, I don't remember. But I'm going to go ahead, these are, are just wall creation stickers where you, you can put them on and then just pull them off without any damage to your walls. That's all this is. And I'm just going to add these on. And this is how simple, quick, fast, and easy 
this actually is I like the way that some of them are a little bit more saturated than others some of them are a little bit more pale and I actually went in and did this once again to both sides of these egg halves and now that that's done and I will show you both sides I think they're so pretty and I like some of those different colors and variations for this egg I'm gonna go ahead and grab those two eggs that I went ahead and I um, basically paint it and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the edge and then glue it in place just making sure that I'm getting it in the center of those painted eggs and I will be doing this to each side and guys that is all there is to this DIY I think it turned out amazing and I did put in some little of those game puzzle pieces at the bottom and that way they can stand up independently on their own and I think they're so cute this one you can see how one side is a little bit more pale but I just love the way they turned out and I hope you did too so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell twice when you subscribe so that way you'll know whenever I upload a new video I love you guys so much thank you for always being so amazingly supportive and also commenting below and watching my videos you guys are the best I hope to see you guys in the next video and I want to thank you all for watching